on folks, Stove the Hobo here in Atlanta, Georgia on June 21st, 2016. Remarkably, this is the summer solstice and also it's a full moon tonight, which uh, makes for a good time, as good a time as any to be part in this city. So the situation is as follows. I've been in Atlanta, uh, one of my crash pads. I have a nationwide network of crash pads. So I can just travel around and not pay any rent and mooch off other people and it's pretty nice honestly but uh, the crash pad situation here just ended so now it's time to head to my uh, Rocky Mountain West crash pad which is in Denver Colorado so this is gonna be a pretty interesting task uh, first of all it's gonna be all new rails on the way out there all new I haven't traveled Atlanta West whatsoever you know, in some of the episodes, maybe you can tell which ones. I've been on the route before, and I know where the train's going. Well, that's not the case here. So the plan is to head to Denver via New Orleans, beginning from here on CSX, heading southwest through uh, Montgomery, Mobile to New Orleans, and then there uh, to catch a BNSF, hopefully, intermodal train through Houston up to Clovis, New Mexico. And then from Clovis, another train to Amarillo, and then from Amarillo, I can get another train to Denver. Out here in the east, uh, it's not quite as much of an incentive to ride freight trains, honestly. I was just looking on the internet and Megabus, you can actually get a Megabus from here to New Orleans. That's almost halfway what I'm trying to do. It's only 39 bucks. Then I thought about it and first of all, I'd be unworthy of a YouTube video. It probably wouldn't be that interesting. And you know, thirty-nine dollars—that's enough for a fair amount of beer. I could just buy beer with that instead on this trip. A recent study, I think it was from the Smithsonian that came out recently, said that unemployed people uh, drink more alcohol than employed people. And being that I'm unemployed, I think the prudent decision would be to save the thirty-nine dollars for that bus and spend it on beer. Pretty simple. Just follow Marietta Street all the way out. You'll cross some tracks and you'll find it. I'm here at the uh, Marietta Street, just a little bit north. And we've got here is the mains. That's going north. That's going to Chicago, I think, that double stack. And then you got this guy here trying to stay discreet going south. I'm not sure if he's going my way or not. I'm going to try to figure it out. And I could just get on the train right here. We got this train airing up right now. I haven't even gotten to the catch out spot. I guess this is the catch out spot if I get on this train. It's facing south, just aired up. The question is, should I just get on this grainer and throw caution to the wind? I'm trying to look under here. It's a pretty long train. Folks, let's do it. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Stoby Jim Kenobi, peacing out of Atlanta. I can't believe this luck. Wherever it goes, I didn't waste any time waiting at all. I wasn't even to the frickin' place where they usually stop. I think this one was just waiting for that double stack to come on the other side. Didn't even have time to put on my other clothes. These nice shorts are gonna get trashed. It's nice to not waste any time. I mean, no time was wasted. I showed up, here's the train, it leaves. And that's the kind of luck that's been going on so far on this trip. Don't pass up a free train, folks. It could be a while till the next one comes along. As soon as the whole train is on the main line, we're gonna book it. Pretty sure this is the CNN parking structure right here. So that's kind of interesting. those tracks go or these tracks to be honest.
out here. We're making the turn either to Birmingham or Montgomery right here, and I'm not sure which one. I really don't want to go to Birmingham. Let's see here. Engines are going left. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. We just hit some kind of junction. I don't know which way we're going. I know which direction I took at the junction back there. It's hard to tell. Definitely in Alabama right now. I don't know if I'm going to Montgomery or if I'm going to Birmingham. But, uh, I'll find out at some point, obviously. This has got to be Montgomery because that sure looks like a Capitol building. Well, I don't know if it's the solstice or the moon, full moon solstice thing going on, but the good luck just continues all the way down to Montgomery. And I've never been in a state where at three in the morning, you can still buy a cold one in the gas station. But here we are, Alabama. Looks like it's the first one. And then you got these. These chicken tenders are, these are so, like severely delicious too. What's going on? Stove the Hobo here in Montgomery. So it's a super historic city. Uh, I'd say mostly in the regard of going back to the slave trade and then the civil rights movement. The uh, racist governor, George Wallace, worked right out of here and uh, all the other racists who are in charge of the state you know up until things evened out a little bit in the 60s you got Martin Luther King appearances here you got marches all that kind of stuff up and down this I think this is Dexter Street you got little informational signs all over the place telling you about the you know civil rights movement all that kind of stuff so right where this fountain is just a little bit down from the Capitol building. Uh, I guess there was a slave market here. I'd have to say though, I mean, that's pretty much all done as well as anything kind of interesting or exciting. The place this looks just deserted these days. I mean, I think the fact that Stove the Hobo arrived on the solstice of the full moon in June 2016 is probably the most interesting thing to happen to this city in years. So this is Montgomery and uh, you know I gotta say I mean there's some cool history stuff with the civil rights and some of the civil war. This is the first confederate capital. I'm kind of disappointed because right now in 2016 there's just there's nothing going on interesting here at all. I mean I thought you know looking at it on a map I thought maybe there'd be a cool restaurant down here, or a cool jazz club, or something, and it's just devoid. State Capitol building and legislators and stuff is probably worth, you know, two hours. This original Jefferson Davis White House is a pretty reasonable stop. Best of all, free of charge. Day, there's nothing going on nothing of interest at all going on here so I think you could 
pretty much knock the whole thing out in one day, which I've about done. So as far as rail traffic coming through here, you got a pretty interesting situation. I'm here uh, north, kind of northeast of the downtown, but right here, it's not a, not a big town. And you got here is this junction. So as you can see over here, any train coming off there is coming from Birmingham and this track over there that leads to Atlanta. I think it was two separate railroads at some point and you got a yard right up there and right up there. I jumped off last night a little ways up there. These main lines converge here and then about a mile and a half that way where I'm going to be waiting the rails again split. I'm hoping that the train will be going slow enough at the split. I don't know which one's going which direction. I'm trying to go towards Mobile slash NOLA. It's possible the other split goes to Waycross, Georgia, which is way out of the way. All right, folks, well, that's Montgomery. Time to keep going. Just gonna go grab some beer and uh, get in position for the next train to Mobile. Stove out. Pretty sure this is the right train. There's some kind of split, which I'm a little confused by, but I'm pretty sure this is the right train. on stub the hobo way way down south it's just been going through this for like hours and hours and hours just it's like jungle down here it's great this is this is a great area to go to just you definitely don't want to like hike through this area this is the best way to go through here you don't want to camp out in this kind of area the mosquitoes are Absolutely atrocious. I mean, just look at how thick these woods are. If there's not a trail, I wouldn't venture off into these woods. I'm not trying to just toot my own horn here. I really think the best way to go through here is on the cargo train, just objectively speaking. You know, it's too far out of this if you go through on the road. But you go through on the cargo train, I mean, you can see all kinds of stuff, snakes, all kinds of cool birds flapping around in the treetops. It's pretty awesome. a good time to do like a little disclaimer on don't don't get too drunk I'm, I'm a, I've been drinking cold 45 and steel reserve and it's like I don't think it's a good idea to get too wasted because if the cops show up it's it's a hopeless game right now I'm just gonna immediately give up and cave in Cops. Uh, additionally, I might miss the stop. Mobile. I want to get off there. I'm not in a big rush. And right now, I'm so trashed. I don't know what is going to happen. Now, I've got the judgment. I'm not going to climb around on the wheels. I'm not going to do anything crazy. I'm not going to get run over by the train. Let's roll into Mobile Yard. And I gotta say, this is definitely the most high security yard I've ever seen of CSX by far. Cameras all over the place. Now it's dark. It's dark right now, so I think everything's cool, but I'm definitely gonna need to find a place somewhere other than just walking in here for 
to return the tr uh, to continue the trip out of here. Or I guess I could just come in here at night. This is lockdown. It's ridiculous. I mean, it took. I don't know how it took so long to get down here. It's 170 miles, and it's three. See, I don't know if you can see on the other side of the train, there's barbed wire. Total lockdown. So I'm trying to figure out how to get out of the yard right now. I may be trapped in here. You got this train pulling out. There's the yard off. There's the yard off. Look, there's no way out without getting spotted. So this is impossible in the daytime. And it may be impossible in the nighttime. If I was not out of water, I might just get back on the train. What's going on? Stub the Hobo here in Mobile. Uh, got in super late and uh, currently just kind of figuring out the train yard situation. There's a lot of trains. I guess CN runs out of here, which I didn't know. That's over here. So the main issue going on, uh, it's looking like this is nighttime only to access the catch spot. Because what you've got happening is, uh, I'm here, very south edge of the yard. And what you need is to be up here. If you can see that stop train there. Basically, the, the main lines where the, the trains are stopping are inaccessible from one side, you've got the Alabama State Docks, which is on some kind of major security thing. They got high-tech cameras, everything. So you can't get in from that side. So to get in from this side, you're gonna have to just basically be seen and walk in front of the yard office. And I'm gonna have to probably do that at night. So this is Mobile, and it's actually one of the more pleasant stops I've found. You've got this nice bay leading out to the Gulf with what I'm sure is pretty pleasant temperature water. Unfortunately, there's not a beach super close. In addition to being a cool town for trains, it's also pretty cool if you're into ships. You got all these shipyards here. Looks like most of them are pretty busy at the moment. was the original home of Mardi Gras. So you got a lot of French influence going on. I haven't been in New Orleans yet, but I mean, maybe this kind of looks like that. You know, this little park. What's going on, Stub the Hobo? Getting ready to uh, depart Mobile. And uh, fortunately, it's looking like a lot of uh, New Orleans trains are coming out and stopping here on the main lines outside the yard. Behind this one that's backing up, I'm pretty sure that one behind it is the right train. I even think there's a crew on board. Hopefully this, this other yard train will get out of the way and I can get on this thing and continue moving further west. Taking off out of Mobile. The train was, I was going to stay a bit longer, but it was just parked on the main lines outside the yard. So, here we go. So it's, a, it's not a bad town. I mean, you got a nice waterfront, which is probably the coolest part. And it's right near the train tracks. And then you just got the downtown right here. Mississippi, that's about as close to 
the goldfish we're gonna get. Oh my god, look at that water. Now, which is cool. Another state I haven't been in. 